Hello, good afternoon, good evening, uh, depending on where you're watching this video from. All right, so uh, this question with me, this question came in 2016. All right, so we'll try to revise and talk about the uh, theorems you're supposed to use. And uh, for today, we'll just cover 2016. In the next video, we'll cover 2017 up to 2019 on circle theory. So make sure you watch all the videos and kindly join my WhatsApp group where I teach online tuitions. All right. Okay, uh, the question reads, in the diagram below, PR is the diameter. So let's check where is PR. PR is here. PR. Is a diameter meaning it's passing through the center O over here Q and S are points so let's check where Q is Q and S are points on the circumference they're just touching the circle here the tangent so this line over here the tangent of the circle at the point P so it's at the point P meets QS QS produced at T P. So, and they have said angle PQS, PQS is 26 degrees and angle QPR is 42 degrees. And then they say calculate angle PRS. So how can we calculate this angle? There is a property we need to use. we we'll call it theorem 1. So, this property says angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. So what do we mean when we say the same segment? Over here, let me put something here. They are all starting from here. Hopefully you'll be able to see there is a segment down here. And all these angles are starting from here. So this angle is, this angle is X. If it's X, even this one will be X. Even this one will be X. So all these angles are equal because they are coming from the same segment. This is a property we need to use. So let's check. If you are able to see nicely, there is a segment here. Okay. Off you see it. So this angle and these, they are all coming from the same segment. Meaning this is also 20, 60 degrees. So what we are looking for which is angle, angle P, R, S. So angle P, R, S will be equal to 20, 60 degrees. There's nothing like calculating here. You just need to know the property. And this is uh, our A. We go to our B. Our B, they are saying calculate angle P, R, Q. So the property we're going to use here is the, so angle PRQ it's here actually it's supposed to be here so angle P P is over here RQ we're talking about this angle here so what angle is this? The theorem we are going to use is theorem 2. An angle in a semicircle is a right angle. So, what do we mean by saying it's a right angle? When a triangle is formed and one side of the triangle passes through the center, meaning the angle which is touching the circumference somewhere here is 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees we know that it's a right angle uh, triangle and it involves 90 degrees. So this is a right angle triangle. So this is the property we're going to use. We we'll say triangle R P Q has passed through. There is a diameter which has passed through the center here, meaning the angle which is here, here is 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. So that entails us that we have 90 degrees and 42 degrees. So we can use the property of the triangle. Total sum of angles in a triangle is equivalent to 180. So we're going to say 
180 degrees minus 42 degrees plus 90 degrees. So when we say this angle plus this angle, we subtract the sum of these two angles from 180, we we'll find this one. So when we work out here to be 180 minus open, or we don't open now, we can add this. When we add, they will give us uh, 132. And when we subtract 180 minus 132, we find that our answer is equal to 48 degrees. We go to the next question, which is B, or which is C. For C, they are saying we find P, angle P, T, Q. So for angle P, T, Q, where is angle P? P, T, Q. So here, we are going to use theorem 3. We know that there is a tangent involved, involved here. So when the tangent is involved, we can use this property over here, which says that a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. So meaning, you see, this is the center of the circle and there is a tangent like this. And distance from here to here is the radius. So meaning here it's 90 degrees and also here it's 90 degrees. So this is what we need. So what we're going to do now, we'll say, since this line is passing through the center, meaning from here to here it's the radius and this is a tangent here, meaning this is 90 degrees. So we have 90 degrees plus this angle plus this. Okay? When we subtract the sum of these angles from 180, we're going to find the angle which is here. Why are we subtracting from 180? Because this is a triangle. We're going to use this triangle and in this triangle, we get advantage of the property of a, a triangle which is uh, uh, the sum of all the triangles add up to uh, 180. So we're going to say 180 degrees minus 90 degrees plus 42 degrees plus 26 degrees. So it will be 180 minus this 90 plus open bracket minus this 90 plus 42 plus 26 and when we do our calculations nicely we are going to find that our answer here will be 180 degrees minus 158 degrees which when we do our calculations nicely here we we'll find that our answer will be equal to 22 degrees so these are the solutions Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and be able to watch uh, more videos. And you can also join my WhatsApp group where I teach people, like I said at the beginning, where I teach people on how to answer questions, exam questions, and be advised where they're making mistakes. Thank you.